it's not clear just yet what this cold snap is going to mean in terms of crop damage, particularly in Florida. Today, we're looking at orange juice futures trading up after speculation that yesterday's slight sell-off might have been overdone. Stuart Mann is a managing director at commodity trading brokerage firm LaSalle Futures, and he just came from surveying the damage to orange groves yesterday. He's with us live from Tampa, Florida this morning. Uh, how bad is it? Um, it's, it's, it's not that bad as of right now. What we're looking for is uh, what's going to happen in, in the coming weeks. Um, what we could see is because of the fruit actually being frozen, we could possibly see the, uh, the juice in that fruit being reduced greatly as we head out towards the end of the season. Um, now, the damage to the trees that we might see is probably going to come in the next couple of weeks. We're going to be able to see exactly what, what damage this, this cold snap did to the trees here in Florida. So, Stuart, explain for me uh, the point you were making there about the impact on the juice production there uh, of the crop that has survived this cold snap. Okay, the, what, what we're probably seeing is that the juice is actually going to be, there's going to be less juice in each individual orange. So the yield per orange is going to be less because the, ju the orange was frozen. And then, you know, as, it, as the heat comes in, it's going to dry, dry out the orange quite a bit. Um, that's where we're going to see effect on the yield. And, you know, as, as we send it to the processors to be juiced, that's, that's where the problem is going to lie from this cold snap that we've seen. Uh, because of the, due to the the advancement in irrigation, so the under under tree irrigation, you know, we're not seeing the devastation we saw from the 89 freeze. Um, so, you know, what we're looking for is probably this box count to be reduced greatly as we head out to the end of the season. Can you put a number on that in terms of the box count reduction? Yeah, I mean, my and my, I would think we probably see another 10 million, uh, 10 million boxes coming off the off the market here uh, due to the cold snap we've seen. So you're saying 10 to 20 percent less crop than where the market was last year? Yeah, some, somewhere in that in that area. We're down we're down about 17 percent before this even before the cold snap even hit. Uh, so you know we could see even a little bit greater than 20 percent coming in as 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 we see more oranges coming off these trees. So it, there was tremendous concern that uh, because of the reduction in, in the crop that. Futures we saw reflect that increase. And yesterday there was a bit of a pullback. What are you making of this most recent trade? If you're saying that the damage isn't that bad, should we be seeing futures gain like we are in today's session? I'm not saying damage isn't that bad. What I'm saying is we're not seeing the immediate damage that we saw from 89. Um, I think I think the sell-off we saw yesterday was due to the fact we had five times the amount of average volume, daily volume, that we normally see in orange juice. Over 12,000 contracts were traded yesterday in comparison to about 2,500 daily. Um, so I think with that in mind, we saw a lot of volatility. The market sold off. There probably were a lot of stops run uh, mm -hmm. as the market started selling off and such. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Stuart Mann, Managing Director at LaSalle Futures, uh, assessing just the state of the crop. He joined us there from Tampa, Florida, after having toured some of those groves himself.